Is the drink of the day. It is. Followed by not by bullfish. <laughs> it thank, is. Thank you, Shara. Congratulations. Well done. Cheers. I, I, Cheers. I, 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 I talk you my, need to have a drink. My, yes. my, my, my drink is coming. My drink is, drink is coming. coming. Yes. But really and truly, I love it. I love it. I think it's we fantastic. Have, we did this about three years ago, Shara. 
Concerning the structure, is this the first event in the, in the refurbishment of the building? Is it what? First event since the refurbishment yes, of the building. Yes, it is. It is. Right. Yeah, it is. We just want to invite you here today to get an idea of what we did, how money is being spent in a very uncomfortable way, because this is all that we have in San Francisco. So we have all this responsibility to not only preserve it, but give it the kind of look that it, it, it deserves. Our uh, forest paint has uh, the magnificent seven, the red house, the white house, the green house, the brown house. It's all we have in San We have not, all we have is this space. Yeah. Let's make it look good. Yes. So it's a way to meet you today. Yes, I heard this space. Absolutely. So when you go upstairs, they tell you that I didn't see what we have done so far, but this, this whole foyer here has uh, been transformed for this type of event. Yes. Uh, because Right, right from the store, cocktails, click them right here and when we, when we look at the promenade, we look at passes by, the station, the hospital and that, and you're in the center of it, this is the also center where we are seeing uh, Prior to this, that was good, um, a good surface and water seeped under was damaging the building. Okay, so we had to do so, it had a, 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 a deep, uh, yeah, yeah, get to get together. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank because you so much. On the outside, yeah, we're going to be so happy. I mean, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy to say we're stored yeah. and actually looking yeah. a little more modern. You're getting there? Yeah. You're getting there. Yeah. Thank you, Hollis. We'll be here this evening. Cheers, Hollis. Cheers to life.
Hey, 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 Um, where are you going to be? Pleasant good afternoon and every one of you. This evening's formal proceedings. May I first of all introduce myself. I am Councillor Gedari for the Electoral District of Marabella South Vistabella and I will be your chairman for this afternoon's proceedings. His Worship the Mayor Alderman Junior Regrello and Mrs. Regrello. CEO of San Fernando City Corporation, Mr. Indarajit Singh and Mrs. Singh. Deputy Mayor Alderman Dr. Ferry Hussein. Aldermen, councillors of the San Fernando City Corporation. Chairman of the South San Fernando Area Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Kiran Singh. Senior Superintendent of Municipal Police, Mr. Santana, Superintendent of Municipal Police, Mr. Harry Prasad, Anglican Archdeacon Edwin Primus, Reverend Kirk Baker, Superintendent Minister Methodist Church, members of the business community, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to San Fernando City Hall. And at this time, I would like to invite, invite Anglican Archdeacon Edwin Primus to open in prayer and bless our formal proceedings. Deacon Primus. Thank you, Comfort. <clears throat> this is what has in prayer as we commit this evening proceeding to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. O oh God, the creator and redeemer of all mankind, we thank you for today. We thank for this opportunity to gather as one people to pray for the city corporation and to bless the refurbished chamber. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We pray that all those who have caused to use this chamber will remember that they are called by God to serve his people in spirit and in truth. Sanctify this battle of God and may your will be done for us all through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not temptation. But they brought some evil. For that is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And I know it's simply that's the chamber from here. We ask God to sanctify this place in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you. Much Anglican Arch 
African pranks. And as we head for the viewing and re refurbishment of the council chamber, I would like to invite His Worship the Mayor, Alderman Junior Rigolo, to bring us some greetings. Thank you, Councillor. And in the interest of time, let me forego the salutation that was so eloquently presented by you at the beginning of this proceeding. We are here this evening to really celebrate the refurbishment of City Hall, and this is why we have so many persons here that we recognize earlier, beginning with our neighbors, the churches, uh, other stakeholders, business people, and our friends from the media. We just informed that we have some token for the media, so don't leave after the, for the session upstairs. Uh, a bit of history about this building. I told some people earlier on that Port of Spain has the Red House, White Hall, Magnificent Seven, and so many other buildings. And we have very little in San Bernardo. This is all that we have. And this is very special to us. There are those who may have found that we have found that we did not, that we spent too much to refurbish this area. A little over one million dollars was spent to bring this to what it is today. But when we came in 2016, this building was uh, infested with two mites. The roof was falling apart. The building was leaking. It was carpeted and under the carpet was plywood, again with the two mites. And the entire building was leaking. Uh, we had to make some decisions and I was with council members for understanding the vision and investing in this to ensure that money should put aside for this. It took a while because it had to go through the process and the auditing system that takes quite a while. However, we persevered and this evening we are already celebrating the refurbishment and opening of City Hall and Council Chamber. There are a lot of things that we need to do to establish the history of San Fernando, those who contributed to the unshaped the landscape. We are getting there, and this is, this is really a, a work in progress. City Hall started on the wharf back in, I think, in 1831, a small little wooden house where the council at the time managed the operations from. They moved here in 1853. A little cottage was built, and when you're going up the stairway, there's a picture of that cottage with the council members standing right in front here, exactly where we are right now. That cottage was built in 1853. Uh, the, the mayor at that time was Dr. Dr. John Stone, and John Stone Street, obviously, presentation college is named after him, and he was the chief medical officer in San Fernando at the time. Over the years, of course, with the arrival of Lord Harris and the transformation of the municipalities, the city brought the town progress until 1931 when a decision was made in 1930 to build City Hall. Between 1931 and 2022, this, this City Hall had its first, first facial, a first overhaul and facelift. So it took us a while. This building was important, we invested well, and we all members of council, all the San Fernando can stay with pride that we have something that we can cherish and we can be very proud about. So having said that, oh, somebody's making a round of applause now. Yes, we did that for that. And sometimes it's not about the money, right? It's about the value. Uh, when this wall was decided to construct, some people said, why build a wall like this? But let us go back to December, to January the 6th, two or three years ago in Washington, when people just invaded, right? Washington, uh, uh, White, White Hall, and, and almost assassinated a, a whole council. Last Christmas, a young man was looking for look, seeking employment and walked straight in here and almost hijacked my, me as I may walk into my office and threatened me about employment and the situation for Christmas. We need some form of protection. It wouldn't take nothing in this crazy time that we live in for some gunman to run up in City Hall and, and, and get rid of the entire council because we made a decision that did not favor him or, or her or anybody for that matter. So we have a responsibility to protect ourselves and this is the first step that we took. But it must be done in a way that it can be aesthetically pleasing. You cannot just put up a wall or a barrication or put galvanize. It has to be done in a way that San Francisco can be proud about it. So I think we will be to achieve those objectives and I'm very proud of what we do here and we are going to continue as we make San Fernando proud. So, Having said this, I'll let the pass you back to Master Ceremonies and thank you for giving me the time. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Uh, before we go, I'd like us to really 
acknowledge Angostura, who's here with us this evening. Hello, of course. Angostura is our number one supporter. They come at a moment's notice, one phone call, and they come in and share their drinks with us. And they have a drink that, that we invented. When Giselle Aron was in charge of the marketing aspect of Angostura, she contacted me and said, Mia, we need a San Fernando drink. And Shada, the young lady on the outside over the glasses, she and I and a team of people got together and we went around San Fernando from bar to bar, bar hopping, sampling, tasting different um, spices and, and, and concoctions until we came up with something called the Sando Pestle. Now the Sando Pestle is really a dangerous drink. So those of you, you, you are advised to drink that in moderation. I will take no responsibility what happens tomorrow or tonight, if I, if I may say so. Also permit me to recognize in our audience, uh, I just, I'm a uniformed friend, Ms. Sonia Richards, uh, former I got judge from Barbados, who is visiting with us here then. And she will, I, I think she's a politician, but she said, Mr. Regal, you're the best, most, most charming mayor I've ever come across, right? So I just want to share that information with you. I didn't say that was her opinion. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Your Worship. And just to add to some of the accolades that San Fernando City Hall would have enjoyed in 2011, San Fernando City Hall received the National Heritage Preservation Award in the category of Best Kept Historical Building Large. So let's hear it for all that we've continued to do to preserve in that which is known as the City of San Fernando. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, I would ask you to kindly follow his worship the mayor, the CEO, and the other delegates upstairs to view the chamber hall for a short program there as well. Thank you very much. And on my left here, get it in the school. Yeah, and my left here, this is what we look like in 1853. This is City Hall in 1853, which was a little cottage right where we are now. And this is what we look like in 1831. We transform from this today. This is the mayor, and the, and the mayor and the and the and the was the CEO was the was the city clerk at the time and the head of the of the, of the municipal police. And some children sitting down there in front of the wall at the time. So, and this side here, we have a football from the 2006 Super Warriors. Signed by all the footballers when they came to San Fernando. I know when we're going to take a World Cup final again, but we have something here. And it goes by, and signed by all the footballers. We also have here an American flag, for those of you who may recall. Uh, on one day in 2016, we hosted the American Embassy in San Fernando, where they operated from San Fernando to be even and jolly in the teams of whatever they had to do. And this flag was raised in, at supper. The entire embassy transformed Sapo into the American embassy. We brought all the security, all the officers, full uh, army cables that morning. And San Fernando was very, very proud of what they operated. So this flag was given to us as a token of And this is the declaration of a city cave that I see that didn't happen. So we are claiming what the evidence is here. Substantiated. Can we proceed with it? Yes. Some of the information that we will have. Uh, provided for the, the 
the new um, city hall would be the um, carpeting of the front area. We also upgraded the foyer. There was an installation, as his worship spoke about, the really new cabinetry for um, the tokens given to us. We also upgraded this, the stairs that you're treading upon. And also the, the framing of all former mirrors. When you get into the city, the chamber hall, you would see the photographs of all the past mirrors have been framed and placed in, in, a, in an orderly manner in terms of the um, past members that served in council. We also have the, on this wall, by the conference room, the names of the councillors that have served over the years, framed, displaying the councillors' names and the years in which they would have served. And I will give um, notice to you, the top left-hand corner would be the current and present council that serves you in the city of San Fernando. But may I just add, the city is always a focus on the mayor and what the mayor does in the mayor. The mayor cannot act without the support of the council. Mm -hmm. So this is why we decided to highlight the council and those who serve, so they be recognized, the name will be there. Somebody came here and said, well, that's my grandfather's name in, in, in 19 something. We stopped at 1900, but we tend to go way back to 1845, as we continue this research on our councillor Paris, for instance, his father said in the 1980s as a councillor and under the PLM. So we have that kind of historical perspective we want to present and preserve our history. And at this time, I would invite his worship to do the, the, the ceremony, ceremonial cutting of the ribbon, and we will then chamber itself. Yeah. You want to go inside? Yeah. 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 Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Drop on that. Drop. Members of council, deputy mayor, mayor, come come. What you want to do? Again, book up. So we have had 65 mayors of San Fernando over the years between 1845 and now. 65 mayors have served. Uh, were, at one time, when a mayor served one term, one year actually, then it went two years, and then you had three years. But most, most terms have been three years. Uh, there's, there are some mayors that are outstanding. Um, I went to Parliament, uh, Mahavio. We went to Parliament and, and served San Fernando West for years. He became Deputy Prime Minister of Trump Tobago. We also have George Montano, who came into the four with 1956 British People's National Movement, and also became a Deputy Leader and Minister of Home Affairs and was a uh, prominent member of the party. So he moved, he's a former mayor who went into Parliament. Um, uh, we also have a uh, former mayor of the who also went to Parliament after the meeting City Hall. So the, the mayorship tends to to, to more or less promote people at that level. However, there's one mayor who went to Parliament and came to the Parliament. That mayor. Right? But these are very, these, I mean, when you read history of San Fernando, actually, we have just commissioned Professor Samaru to write history of San Fernando from, from 1900 to, to, to 2020. But those of you who know the history know that Michael Anthony wrote from 1595 to 1900. But so much happened, so many happened in 1900 and now that needs to be captured and reported. So Professor Samuel is doing that. And there's so many persons here who really shaped San Fernando and put up a power that would. There's somebody called uh, Mosahim. Ipep. Ipep Mosahim. He, like, right here, this gentleman in 1965 was involved in the, in the Farima Olmos Association and invited Dr. Williams and a few persons in the San Fernando to speak about the culture that was too colonial and too English and they met at the Prima College in 1955. Persons who attended that meeting was Kamal Mohammed, 
and other cultural activists. After a meeting, they went for lunch at Winston Mahabi's home, and somebody suggested, why don't we form a political party? That was April 1955. Dr. Williams said, you think about it. And a few months after, we started gathering people, started having the conversation. So we can all say, the, the thought, the idea of the People's National Movement started in the city of San Fernando. So, both him and, and these are people, and of course, San Fernando is so diverse. We look at all, a lot of members who represent the San Fernando. It's a diverse group of people, mixture of culture, mixture of ethnicity, anything we need, this is what San Fernando is about. So we acknowledge these gentlemen right here. The top, most of those people, the top there, are business people. I literally own San Fernando, own stores and high streets in San Fernando, and the whole city. And they were businessmen. Uh, election was done in a very peculiar way in those days, so they have done what they had to do. <laughs> very democratic or undemocratic way to stay in office. You know? uh, this was the first female mayor of San Fernando, the first female mayor. And actually, we had more female mayors than any other city, or any other town, or any other world. How many we have? One, two, three, four. And all these male mayors were Methodists. So we have a lot to be proud about, and we have a responsibility to establish and preserve our history. Uh, these very, very prominent people. Well, yeah, we'll see. Why is he in color? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is, um, of course, we were lying about Edgel Johnstone. Uh, he lived on the Johnstone Street, because he named after him, a medical doctor. And uh, uh, most of these, yeah. Wharton Street, you have Wharton Street, you have. Uh, Johnston Street, Lewis Street, Grant, Juga Grant, yes. right? Yes. Also, Juga Grant Street. Yes. So a lot of these um, Hobson Street, Thank all you. these mayors had street in market. Actually, the city of the main street after the mayors and not the politicians were made right here in 1958. I want Diana Sukaran, who was a council at the time, and suggested that the main streets after councillors would be who contributed. So that was him, Diana Sukaran, the grandfather of our member of Parliament of San Fernando West and our local government representative. What about father and son? Father and son? Oh yes, we have that too. We have the first, <laughs> the first father and son. I said that we were going to go. First father and son. Uh, what did you say? And his son, what did you say? What did you say? Had the distinguished pleasure of disqualifying me as king of the band's born here before I came for a speech? I apologize. And we might have another making. Make, make well, uh, so, so your mouth may take somebody. <laughs> 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 Another significant can be made in the So, uh, um, Dr. Mutu, who actually um, won CBC as a stand for 1988, very tomorrow, we just passed a couple of days ago from COVID and 42. A very, a very um, influential and visionary uh, um, yeah. the representative the NIA, my party, but he was visionary. So they are. For prominent persons. Okay, folks. Um, so, so maybe we could um, can we go down the stairs or we want to do a mock a mock setting that we saw how, how we set. Want to do that? Yeah, let's, do a, let's do a mock setting. <laughs> so we can see <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. The local of Bell, 
was used to call his slaves out at 5 o'clock in the morning to work. When this battle was sung, well, which, which hot is he ready to get up and start to cut the key? <laughs> when that battle was sung, you know. And this battle, this battle actually sunk in a, in a, in a, in a trip to Port of Spain. I was retrieved when he got to Paris and all that. So this bell has a couple of years old. This was used on the plantation to summon the slaves to, to start work. And, and I'm amazed that they actually retreat that when they got to Paris. I'll take some kind of shit. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Is that your choice? I will shoot you. Now that you all the plans, boy. You good? What do you mean? I wake up this morning. It's a pleasure meeting you this afternoon. Right. Okay. What else you have to see? I'm recording. Well, we give thanks to life, and we all woke up this morning, so give thanks. Have a drink. How's the business going? Everything cool at the moment. You know, just go see how things going this right now. Just trying to hold on. Give thanks. Yeah? Cool tight. I wish you a nice Christmas. Mm -hmm. I give plenty love. Bye. It's my birthday. Oh yeah? Happy birthday. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. And at this time, we I'd like to call on some of our elected councillors to present tokens to our members of media. If she is present, Miss Webb, maybe she got caught in the. All right, and I will ask Councillor Johnson for Electoral District of Marabala West to present Miss Webb with a token of appreciation. Thank you very much, Ms. Webb. Thank you for your service to the San Fernando. And I have, may I call on Ms. Wilson? Sasha. Sasha Wilson. And I will ask Councillor for the Electoral District of Pleasantville, Councillor Robert Paris. And, and feel free to come to front. We are we in San Fernando. Being a city, we get a frontish. Sorry, sorry. More frontish. Thank you so very much. And as we beckon the welcome of Councillor for the Electoral District of Kokia Tumba. I will call on Councillor Lynch to present to uh, media extraordinaire Rishi. Laguna. Laguna. Extraordinaire. <laughs> Amplia. <laughs> Thank you very much, Councillor. Thank you very much, Rishi. Our next token will be for um, media personality, Ines Francis. And I call on Alderman. Oh, sorry. 
Deputy Mayor Ferry Hussein. Um, Deputy, come forward please as we present to Mr. Francis as he rides the tide. Looking tall, boy. Francis, they say the tide is high, but you need to be moving on. Well, I don't know my age, right? When I, when, I, when, I, when, I say, when I say those lines from that fabulous song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow you worship uh, turn in 51, all right? Bless the Lord. Hollis Clifton. Present, Miss. Present on account of four. And I would like to ask Councillor Lynch one more time. Electoral District of Kokia Toruba. Hollis has certainly become very um, chummy with our members of council. And our next um, token to be presented to Mr. Trevor Watson. And I will ask um, Councillor Rishi Bayram Singh of the Electoral District of Lesophore East West Laramie. And I call, call to front Nigel McQueen. And I call on Alderman Colin Lizama to present to Mr. McQueen. And I'll have you know Mr. McQueen was the first uh, media personality to, to be here today. I'd like to call to the steps of honor, Miss Cindy Tikasing. Not here. Because I have a raffle and I could give her a chance. But at this present point in time, ladies and gentlemen, a son of the soil, not casting any um, immigration officers to the other members of media. But I would like to call on the great Ivan Tulsi and I ask his worship the mayor to present honor where honor is due. The best is for the last, eh? Ivan is red and ready. Eh? Thanks very much for this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you very much, your worship. Thank you members of the media and we really want to admonish you to continue the good work that you're doing in presenting to the city of san fernando and its residents as well as trinidad and tobago and the wider world all that we have to offer and before we go ladies and gentlemen i allow you to continue with your swallowship i would like to call on shana from angostura to get into the mix is that I'm just still mix. Your worship. She's always there for us. Yeah. The minute notice, a minute call, I didn't say I'm just still Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, Your Worship. Uh, and I believe His Worship was looking for to see if he could um, get a little um, credit on the corner of the bar, but it's taken care of today. And Angostura is supporting us for Carnival. And Angostura is supporting us for Carnival. As you continue to enjoy the rest of the evening, I would like to thank you for your attendance. Thank those of you who took the opportunity to come and to constantly give support to the members of Council and His Worship members of administration for the San Fernando City Corporation. At this time, as MC Marcus Gidari, I wish to bid you good night. Merry Christmas. One more. One more. This is how it has happened in Council, right? Yes. 
his worship always have something for somebody else and i would like to call on the, the the gentleman who has been responsible in overseeing what you came here to be a part of the refurbishment of the san fernando city council chamber i call on acting engineer david mohammed let's put our hands together ladies and gentlemen for those who do not know the most important person in corporation is not the mayor is not the ceo is not the members of the city engineer he is the person who say yay or nay and we have been working with this engineer for the past three months and i think i can speak on behalf of all members of the council this man is the fastest thing I've ever come across. He has speed like a lightning. The one we had before used to call him molasses. So if you can understand it, what I'm talking about it. Congratulations, David Redmond. This can happen without you. Congratulations. Thank you, Worship. And again, um, as I personally bid you farewell, good night, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, as we look forward to our bumper 2023. And the mother of all carnivals. Somebody say, Yeah! <laughs> Again, um, as, as Councillor Gadari would have said, the mayor always has one more. And so we like to call Lincoln Holder from the Guardian, from the News Day, from the News Day. And I'd like to invite Deputy Mayor to make this presentation, please. Why 